Hello everyone, I'm I for Scotland and it is very, very cold here. Um I am I've got I've got the curtains closed and I'm just trying to keep as much heat in my room as I possibly can. Today we are going to be continuing with the Spider of Lanka and if we're lucky we might jump over to the Lemurian Vampire. Depends how long this case takes. But anyway, I'll make myself small and we will jump into the mix. We have this final case by the looks of it. I don't think there's chapters here. So we've got this one coming up. In the web of the spider. Okay, here we go. So. Let's start with this guy. Haha, -ha, I thought you could fool me, spider. I have captured you and now you will answer for the death of the princess. Jemadar Elara Sun and Havildar Lanjasena will hide in the boats and guard the second entrance. Then there's a hatch. Then there's, I wonder if the circles represent people. The ambush of the spider. There's a front door here. I will approach the front door with Jemadar Elara Sena and Havildar Kirthi Bandara. Okay. We have Master Putra's son. I've already shared my suspicions about the disaster of the rebirth ritual. He is one of the shareholders of Titiana Printing House, but my honour does not allow me to reveal his name. However, he goes by the name of Spider. I plan to meet him at the Printing House on November 22nd. Let me settle my private matter with him first and then he's all yours. Master Putra's son, there are all five shareholders, sorry, these are all five shareholders of Titiana Printing house. All of them are affiliated with the Seven Seas Company. Have a good hunt. I hope you'll arrest the bastard. Master of Archive and Library, Siva Udawati. We've got Albert Cloudsley, who I imagine will come and check him later. So he was sent there. He was in the previous case. We've got Narcissus Montalban. Claims to be a thousand years old. Sure. Natural philosopher, alchemist and astrologer, banished from the Society of Hermetic Thought for revealing their secrets, claims to be able to switch someone's life off. Wonder if that's with the Golden Idol. Then we've got Claude Davro, an Aquitanian Marquis. Despite his stature, he's a master swordsman. He's killed at least seven people in duels and was subsequently banished from Aquitania. Wears expensive clothing, afraid of heights, may attack without provocation. Extremely dangerous. We've got Oberon Geller, who we met in that first case there. Unmarried, has concealed for the last five years that he has a Lankan mistress. He's a surgeon hypnotherapist, probably an agent of the Seven Seas Company, has connections to the underworld and is well respected among pirates for providing medical services to their people. Curious about Lankan and Lemurian culture, charming charlatan who avoids damaging his own reputation, somewhat dangerous. We also got Ruben Hendricks, who I recognise. He was in the the bar at the start as well. A shipwright and former carpenter on the pirate ship Rabid Raccoon has a wooden leg, pretends to be drunk and quiet when it benefits him, steals and has instigated riots. Made a fortune in Pajak, which makes me wonder if he hides cards in his wooden leg. Somewhat dangerous. Okay. Ah, you thought that the disguise would have saved you. No luck for you, spider. Has a curved sword. Tonight, during the operation, we'll practice an old Lankan code. Imagine what number the picture represents and the sentence count to the word matching that number. Follow your orders. Trust no one except me. So, follow me. Yeah? Mm, at gunpoint. Mm, insolence. Mm, blasphemy. Interesting. It's hard to understand him, Master. The mask is muffling his voice. We have to get it off properly to interrogate him. Okay, we've got a club there. Appears not to be armed, Master. We just searched them. Oh, we've got so much to read. <laughs> so, youngster. Ah, uh, these old Lemurians are impenetrable. My spies report that a young Lemurian, Zubiri Kera, has arrived in the city. He's the son of the Lemurian priest, Yupik Kera. Probably does not know about their old culture, but apparently has amazing pajak skills. More and more evidence has led me to believe that the Lankan legend about the Fountain of Youth on the secret island and the rumours about the Forbidden Golden Idol refer to the same thing. 
The Moodians are extremely skeptical about their technological past. The topic is extremely, sorry, is completely taboo in this society, which could be related to the downfall of their empire. They are reluctant to reveal the location of their ancient technologies. Maybe in the future I can acquire some leverage. They have forced my hand with their conservative stubbornness. I will not let these old mystics sabotage the Seven Seas Company needs. It's time to invest in some creative research and see if I can find out more about their secretive ritual and what makes them tick. What a peculiar principle, life for life. If you do something good or bad to Lemurian, he is obliged to return the same amount back. Is it really that black and white or is there some diplomatic leeway? Oh, there was more on that table. I am ready to settle my debt to you. I will arrive on Friday at the time you specified. Please be alone. November 22nd. We'll get into this when we start to um, decipher some of the puzzle stuff. We are commissioning prints of these titles. Common guards, cuts and master strikes with a longsword. Will of the demon when crabs attack. Uh, proof of life after death, Lemurian legends, seven leaves poetry. Master of library. Hmm. This clue's been added to the thinking. What in the goddamn hell? Okay. That's weird. That's Pajak stuff happening in the background, because that's the peasant, the boar, the centaur, and the archer. Don't know about anything here. Hmm. Okay, that is also weird. We have a missing mask, probably the one that the spider's wearing. Okay, this might be the single biggest case we've ever dealt with, because holy shit. Palace Guard, the Halvedar, Jemadar, Subedar. Special Guard, Royal Army, Royal Navy. Okay, we'll need that because we need to identify the people. Someone has been killed with an, an axe type thing. Tonight during the operation we'll practice an old Lankan code. So, guard, front, door. Cool. That makes sense, so he was guarding the front door. Hmm. Okay, so but there's there's the stairs here that takes us to the front. There's the Titiana Printing House logo. I like that they've got little scores. Um, so we've got two of them are special guard, I think, and then one of these guys is is that palace guard. And then is this the this is the Putra Sun guy from before, right? We need to go okay, we need to go elsewhere. A large cloak and what looks like some hair. Basket maximum load four vases. Okay. We've got footprints. Ah. That's interesting. So someone managed to get to a boat there. So the spider of Lanka has probably disappeared. I imagine that's a cloak that has the the printing house on it. So I wonder if it's maybe the the wrong person, which would be quite funny. The identities are not filled in. What the fuck do you mean the identities of... The flies? Oh no, okay. The spider created a situation where he... Hmm. This is, yeah, this is going to be tough. So we've got like the story here that we'll do kind of one at a time. 
It's hard because I don't know who these... I'm guessing that's the spider, but... Right, so who could this be? The man's not breathing. So I'll maybe go back to... This. Back to Verdun. Elara Sun and Havil Havildar. Jemadar and Havildar will hide in the boats. So I'm guessing that's those two. Oh we don't even need to we don't even need to fill them in. Hmm. So Jemadar, Elara Sinna, and Havildar Kirthi Bandara. So let's. I don't know if that's a soldier or not. I mean, it maybe is Havildar. Looks like it could be Havildar. So let's go. Let's try and identify this guy. So. One. Kirthi Bandara, I reckon that's Kirthi Bandara. And then we can look at these weird fly things. So. So, the fly and the spider in this. I'm just thinking if that's so, if that's referring to the first case during the Pajak, there's Oberon Geller and there is the fly thing. Now... The fly... I'm just trying to remember where the... Um, it's quite hard to like find the stuff, so... That fly is pouring a glass of wine... Or is being poured a glass of wine... In that. So... Is that ribbon talking about the golden idol maybe I'm gonna give it a go so where's Ruben it was Ruben Hendrix wasn't it I'm gonna put this down as golden idol for now I don't know what else it could be rebirth ritual or something And then... Hmm. So the spider orchestrates something. Now the weird thing here is that the spider... If it's someone received a gift, then it was the... Ah, oh man, this is... I'm losing sight of all the names. Wait a bit. Youngster, yeah. Zubiri Kera. And Yupik... It was Yupik Kera that gave the gift? No, it was Thingy Cloudsley that gave the gift. Spider created a situation where he instigated 
something. Therefore, someone revealed the secret of the maybe golden idol to the spider. But who revealed it? So, spider. I didn't instigate. He instigated someone's rebirth? No. That seems silly. Where he saved. Ah, okay. He saved someone's life. Whose life did he save? Ah, hold on. He saved Zubiri Kera's life. So Zoberon Geller must be the spider, right? Therefore, Zubiri Kera. <sighs> Unless it was his dad. You pick Kera revealed it. Nope, that's not correct. Fuck. Two or fewer slots are correct. Spider instigated a situation where he saved Zubiri Kera's life. Therefore, Zubiri Kera revealed the secret of the... It wasn't the Golden Idol, it was like the Rebirth Ritual, maybe? There we go. Nice. Okay. So we now know that... Shit. The spider is Oberon Geller. And... That's Zubiri Kera. And then I think that might be Yupik Kera. And that's the Rebirth Ritual. Nice. Hmm. I don't know who that is. Okay, we'll continue on. To help the Seven Seas Company, the spider... Something. So that's Yupik Kera doing the rebirth ritual. The spider concealed the location, revealed the location of the something at the Raja's court. But someone settled it when he. Hmm. Okay, let's have a wee look. November 22nd, so meeting with the nephew of the bookworm. Pick up pistol from the repairman, buy supplies for the boat trip, meeting with the double widower. Rehearse the escape plan, meeting with the money bag, meeting with the old butterfly, meeting with the green, <laughs> the green boy. I mean, I'm guessing that's high tide and low tide and the times. Do we know what the tide is? Hmm. So there is a timing thing here. A large cloak. Well, it looks like a 
fake beard? Fake hair? So there's Jemadar, Hav Havildar. I think Havildar Kurthi Bindar is the one that's dead. I don't know who c this could be. So, I don't know who the little dudes are there. Spider escapes. That's Yupik. Spiders orchestrating. That's the prince. Right, okay. That's the prince and that's the princess. So... Revealed the location of the... I, I can only think it could be revealed the location of the something. Of the something something. Rebirth ritual? That seems a bit silly. When he switched, that can't be right. When he concealed, when he instigated, when he revealed. Ah, okay, so... You pick Kera when he revealed the I'm gonna just chuck in Golden Idol here, I don't think it's kinda of oh, fuck. To help the Seven Seas Company, the spider revealed the location of the rebirth ritual at the Raja's court. Maybe it was just the Golden Idol. Is it Golden Idol? No, it's not. It's Rebirth Ritual. Hmm. Concealed the location? Oh. So that means there's only one thing wrong here. Maybe it was revealed the... Hatch door. It's not the hatch, is it? Oh my god. No. You go back to rebirth. So it's one of these? Revealed the sabotage. Fuck. Revealed the mask of the rebirth ritual? The clothing? No. The door? No, it's not the door. Okay, so that is wrong. So I reckon at the moment I've only got one slot. Tell the Seven Seas Company. The spider revealed. The sabotage? The I don't know what is wrong here, unless it's. He revealed the location seems a bit silly. Because I don't remember Oberon Geller actually being in the second case. What's the next bit? Because the spider had... ...revealed somebody's... ...sabotage... Okay. When he revealed... I wonder if this has got something to do with, like, so we know that Putra Soon, this guy, um, we know that 
he was responsible, was he not? Because he was working with the prince. Um. Oberon Gala. Thought for revealing their secrets. Claims to be able to switch someone's life off. I wonder if the drunk... Like, I'm wondering if this is like, he's drunk. I kind of want to see just the... Maybe this is Ruben Hendrix? Oh, fuck. The only other person is... Is this Subiri Kera? It's just kind of... No, it's not. It is not. So I was right with that. Which means that I think Ruben Hendrix might be wrong then. Unless that's a thingy Cloudsley, the other one. Was it Albert Cloudsley? Nah. Okay, so we know that the one in the mask is incorrect. I feel like he's got to be one of the... Let's see what the meeting was. Ready to settle my debt to you. I will arrive on Friday at the time you specified. Please be alone. Master of Library. There was like a schedule somewhere, wasn't there? Meeting with the nephew of the bookworm. Pick up pistol from repairman by surprise. Meeting with the double widower. Meeting, meeting with the green boy. So the green boy must be him, because he's new. Married to alchemy. Claims to be a thousand years old. Widower late. Okay, so he's the double widower. So he is... Okay, so meeting with the double widow at 6pm. Meeting with the money bag. Meeting with the old butterfly. And then meeting with the green boy. Now it is November 22nd. We know that... Time-wise... In the morning, at 8 o'clock, tide is low. We know that the tide is currently... Like, half 7. So is it hourly? What's it, like 9, 10, 11, 12, 13... 14, that's 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah, Confused at what time it is, so it's you know in a twelve-hour period, we've gone up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's three, but it can't be. It's like the middle of the night. Hmm. Also, that doesn't help because none of that's on there. Unless I'm getting something really wrong about time, which, to be fair, is possible. Common will. 
Oh no, guards will attack after Lemurian leaves. Ah. Master of Library. <laughs> to help the Seven Seas Company, the spider instigated, saved, concealed. Is, is it, is it either concealed or revealed? I would have thought it was revealed. Okay. Revealed the location of the rebirth ritual? That just seems so silly. Yupikera settled it. It was Yupikera, because he said to the Raja. Did he reveal the golden mask? Was it a mask thing? It can be a mask thing. Future Sun's Sabotage. Hmm. Prior to that, someone had tipped off about the location of the uh, spider. So I don't know. Hmm. It's weird that ambush and switch are not in the past tense. So let's go there. So Putra soon had planned to ambush. Oberon Geller after the meeting at Titiana Press, but somebody had warned Oberon Geller with an encoded message, so he forced whoever he was with to switch masks, to say maybe switch clothing and wear a mask. Is that Zubiri Kera? Fuck, is it Yupik Kera? Fuck's sake, there we go, okay. So we now know that Yupik Kera is the one being grabbed at the moment. So he forced you pick Kera. Kera, where are we? You pick Kera. Come on. He was caught as he left through the hatch. Meanwhile, Oberon Geller left through the door. Then Oberon Geller escaped. After the meeting, but you pick Kera. Oh, fuck. Purchaser had planned to ambush Oberon Geller after the meeting at Ti Titania. Ti Titania? To Titania. Press, but somebody had warned him. That's not you pick Kera, it is the book. The Bookman. Master of Library. Master of Library. Hmm. 
Anyone here a master of library? It's not him. Could be this guy, but I don't know. Doesn't seem like it would be this guy. Master of Library. Hmm. A large cloak. Beard. I don't quite get the basket thing. Obviously someone travelled in a basket, but are we saying that Oberon Geller weighs the same as four vases? I wouldn't have thought so. I know that he's dead. Hmm. He's got a... No, that's the axe. <laughs> I was like, who's got a little plumage there? No, that is the axe embedded in his nervous system. I will arrive on Friday at the time you specified. Meeting with the old butterfly, meeting with the green boy. Rehearse the es space plan. <laughs> Money bag. Who the fuck is the master? Who's the li Who's the library man? I feel like it's got to be one of the ones from the the master of library. Unless it is Putra Soon, which seems a bit. Ah, oh, it's fucking Siva Udawati. Arsehole. Right. Okay. Siva... No, hold on. Siva Udawati Oberon Gel... Right, okay. We've got two or fewer slots left on both this one and this one. Putra soon planned to ambush Oberon Geller after the meeting at Titania Press, but Siva Udawati had warned Oberon Geller with an encoded message. So... If, so... He forced Yupitkera to switch clothing and wear a mask. Yupitkera was caught as he left through the hatch. Meanwhile, Oberon Geller left through the door. Then Oberon Geller escaped. Meanwhile, Oberon Geller left through the door. Then... I don't quite understand, because we don't... Why are we using a name here? Because we have to use a name here as well, and that's a, like, noun. Meanwhile... Oberon Geller left through the door. Then... Can I say, like, the spider and... Then... Then killed? Are we missing, a, like, a word? Like, is it... Kirthi Bandera? We're absolutely missing a word there. Which throws off the complete thing. Holy shit, okay. Get that patched. Okay. To help the Seven Seas Company, the spider revealed the location of the rebirth ritual at the Vraja's court, but Yupikera settled it. When he revealed the location, the spider instigated the ritual 
No. <laughs> he instigated the sabotage of the rebirth ritual at the Raja's court. Yupik Kera settled it when he revealed the location of the Golden Idol. Because the spider had had instigated Putrasun's sabotage? Had hmm. Okay, so this is another Putrasun one. Someone had tipped off Putrasun about the location of the spider. Because the spider had instigated Putrasun's sabotage. Something, something. Revealed the location of the Golden Idol to him at Titiana Press. However, prior to that, I'm just wondering here. So we've got. Was it Zubiri Kera? I don't know. I'm just gonna. I'm working until Instigate Peterson's sabotage. You pick Kera. Hmm. I feel like we're missing like we're missing grammar in this. Is there like a full stop there or a comma? Unless we go saved Zubiri Kera's life. You pick Kera revealed the location of the golden idol to him at Titiana Press. However, prior to that. I'm a little bit curious about this comic here. So we know that... Who are these? There's one with a spear, there's one with an umbrella. And the one with the umbrella is mentioned here. So is it Siva Udawati? But Siva Udawati wouldn't... Okay, so that's the name I've got wrong. But who... I've already shared my suspicions about the disaster of the rebirth ritual. He's one of the shared holders. My honour does not allow me to reveal his name. However, he goes by the name of Spider. And I plan to meet him at the printing house. So it's got to be one of these other shareholders, right? It's maybe Albert Cloudsley. Maybe. Or is it some one of the other ones? Is it Ruben fucking Hendrix? Really? No. It's not any of them. Right. Meeting with the Double Widower. The nephew of the bookworm. Bookworm is what? You pick Kera? Nephew. No, because that's father and son. Hmm. So it is that name I've got incorrect. 
Did you pick Kera? Do it? Did I not have... I did. Fuck's sake. The scroll has been fulfilled. The Lemurian priest had hoped to fulfill his honour-bound duty by revealing the location of the Golden Idol to Oberon Geller before allowing Putrasun to ambush and arrest them. But Oberon had been forewarned, so he forced Yupik to exchange clothing at gunpoint and made him wear a mask. While Putra's people were distracted by the masked Yupik, Oberon, disguised as the priest, killed the guard and escaped with the map. We shall return to the scenario selection. Listen, Albert. I hold a proposition of business. Go on. Oh, is that it? Wait, hold on. Oh, maybe this is the, the next one, the next DLC. We're going to jump in. We sure are. This chapter poses a greater challenge for new players. This, it, sorry, just checking. That is the Lemurian vampire, like, complete. It's too dangerous to approach the island in the storm, most radiant Raja. I keep on, sorry. Let this play. But the Raja is chasing after. We must, I am out of time. I hear and obey. Okay. My god, let me start. <laughs> the enigmatic expiration in a harmonious island commune. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. We can now change times of day? Shit. My prince, you're alive. It's thanks to karma that you've evaded death and been brought to the same beach. Jayan, I entrust you with guarding and ensuring the safety of the Lemurian priest's son, Zubiri Kera. The old priest shared with me secrets of the Fountain of Youth. I suspect he may have disclosed more valuable information to his son, Raja. My father is dead, Jayan. I am the last of the Gamini family. Now you serve only me as my royal blade master. You must address me as Raja. Please do not harm us, we barely survived the storm, we are unarmed and come in peace. It's day 55 of my imprisonment, we have been at sea for two weeks and apparently Monkey Paw Island is within reach. Today the Blade Master G played some bajack with me and shared his stories of conquest, there is nothing, something noble about this man. January 11th is the day 56 of my imprisonment, sorry that's 6 took me ages to decipher. We are on course to arrive at the island tomorrow, however a storm is brewing so I expect we will be delayed a day or two, Tissa continues to promise me riches in exchange for secrets pertaining to the Fountain of Youth. So that's Zibiri Kera, I believe. And this is the Tissa... So that's Tissa Gamini. That's Zibiri Kera. And that is Jayan G. Nice. Who are you? Why have you come to a peaceful island? Have you forgotten about the importance of sharing? These poor souls have barely survived their ordeal in the storm. We should welcome them to our village and feed them and tend to their wounds. Do you think that's the only bit that I can go on this? So later on in the day, we have... Be respectful, Tissa. In time, you will learn our ways. Can you stop pushing this empty cart around and do some real work? Zarno will not be happy if you continue to shirk your duties and you will not get supper. Even the senior villagers have to work for their food despite their age, but I haven't seen that old man do anything useful around here as he's sick. Thank you for your kind words, but it was a short vote. Sometimes they do bicker, but only because they have the best interests of our commune at heart. Sometimes I think that Kula votes against Mongo just to spite him. They really shouldn't drag you into every small decision. They should be trying to reduce your stress. We should stop playing. I have to practice our history tiles or Auntie Lavu will, won't be happy with me. I wish I knew how to read so I could order them by their names. We've got Brute, Ancestors, Discoverers, Protection, Dweller, Emerges. Okay, I imagine we'll be piecing them together. You don't need to know how to read, silly. Just look at the pictures. They all make sense. Auntie isn't scary compared to Sterna. Sterna told my mum of yesterday and my mum cried. Let's 
Okay, so yes, I did as Virilis asked and brought the repair materials to Vito's dwelling. But tell me, are those really rubies and sapphires and golden coins that the children are playing with? You mean those shiny bits and pieces? They're scattered around everywhere. Mata taught us that the children can play with these trinkets as long as they're big enough so the children cannot choke on them. Seems fair. And then there's even more history tiles here that we'll just grab. We will assemble them, I'm sure, in due course. This clue has been added to the thinking panel. Valley Commune Laws. Big decisions are voted on by the whole commune. Smaller decisions are decided or voted on by council members. The council vote is tied. Whoever is available from the commune joins the vote. Council responsibility. Guardian of males represents and cares for the males of the commune. Guardian of females represents and cares for the females of the commune. Guardian of agriculture is responsible for farm work and food allocation. Guardian of children is responsible for health and education of all young. Year 3 to 4, 18 males, 25 females, 12 children. I agree with Lavu and... Sorry, I'm going to sneeze. Ah, fuck, it went away just as I said that. Bastard. <coughs> Fuck's sake. I'll edit that out. I agree with Lavu and vote against as well. We have enough disruption from the people who washed up on shore. We do not need more change. I have enough on my plate with all three newcomers being my responsibility. I'm glad that Suto agreed with me. No good ever comes from pointless tinkering. We should focus on the stability of our commune and leave things that work well alone. So she's looking after, she's the guardian of the children, he's the guardian of the males. Stop complaining, Virilis. I have more people to take care of than you and I manage it just fine. So we've got votes here. And then, alright, if this is the result of the vote, I will stop my experiments with the yams, but I still believe I could get something tasty and new in a couple of generations, which would increase the variety in our food. Now, can we talk about the issue of the lazy newcomer? So... So, I reckon that's Viralis. <laughs> Smiley and sad. So... This guy is Viralis Mata, I believe. I'm glad that Sutil agreed with me. Sutil is potentially this guy. Cool up votes against Mumgo, just to spite him. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Well, maybe need to figure more of that out. Let's say, uh, can we go back out? Because there's another location. Tomorrow, your incan expires, Vito. What is that scrolled on the wall? Yesterday that wall was clear. It's day 13 on the island. Kruplu was very excited to tell me everything about the purple peas. It's fascinating that with very little tending they provide so much nutrition to everyone in the Valley Commune. I enjoy chatting with them because people are somewhat secretive here. So that's Kruplu, the guy who is experimenting with stuff. So I'll Deal with him in a bit. Day 14 on the island amazes me how harmonious and calm life is in the village. Every adult has to work no matter their lifespan, but it is not arduous. That's a really weird phrasing. Perhaps this is how life should always be. Who are these people? They are Lumerians, but I have not heard their dialect anywhere. Locals are enigmatic about their history, but I overheard a child chanting, The Exodus came first, then finding of a cursed, last tragedy dispersed. Okay. Order the tiles. Chronolo okay, so I can move stuff. Um. Okay, so ancestors are Lumerian banishes ancestors from. Hmm. 
uh, I'm going to go that again. So, Exodus came first, then Finding of a Cursed, Last Tragedy Dispersed. So, thinking there so binding of a cursed so we've got root root banishes ancestors Ancestor seems a little bit strange there. Root banishes ancestors. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to revisit this, I think. Once you've lived here long enough, you'll understand. Sorry, I have to run. Kula gave me a lot of tasks today. I better not cross her. So Kula is managing the woman. So I now need to go back to here, in here. And I think Kula is her. KKK, K Kula. Not the KKK. They're not allowed. Banned. So we've got KS and KZ. Does it have their names written anywhere? Ah, wait, hold on. Sterna was mentioned somewhere. Kula votes against Mongo. Just to spite him. So. It's not Mata, it's Mongo. And then... Ah, fuck. I agree that I am glad that Sutil agreed with me. Hmm. There is a Z there, but I don't know. Nah, not not hundred percent sure. Okay, we will leave this place i think there is one more time oh hey the golden idol fun this person's not breathing nagana brin gad bulbazur yeah Okay, yeah, sure. Hmm. We will... Order the tiles chronologically. Fuck. This is quite tough. So... Once I identify everyone here, I'll then be able to fill out that one, because I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, I just need to get the names right. So, Kula... Kruplu... So we'll go back here, through here. Kruplu was very excited to tell me everything, so that's that. 
Lemurians. Tomorrow your incantation expires vital. Who's vital? Once you've lived here long enough, you'll understand. Sorry, I have to run. Kula gave me a lot of tasks. So Kula is in charge of the woman. Mata taught us that the children... So Mata is the guardian of the children. So Mata has to be the surname. Lavu Mata. So we've got VM... Fidelis Mongo, and then we've got um, fuck. Lavu Mata, Kula, and Kruplu. So we've got M and M, and we've also got SV. Who's vital? Sometimes I think that Kula votes against Mongo, they really shouldn't drag you into every decision. Incantations. Zarno will not be happy if you continue to shirk your duties. Zarno. Hmm. One second. So we've got Kula votes against Mongo. <laughs> okay. Love votes against Mom go just to swim. So that's L M. She's So it was these two that did it. These two that agreed. Ah fuck, this is really difficult. <laughs> uh, right, so one of them's Vito. Sterna Vito makes it. Right. Sometimes they bicker. Virilis asked. Brought the repair materials to Vito's dwelling. So. Mata taught us. Let's see. Be respectful. Tessa, Zarno will not be happy if you continue to shock your duties. Zarno being the one in charge of farming. So, he's KZ. Zarno, Zarno, Zarno. Where are we? There we go. She must be Sterna. There we go. Nice. So, Guardian of Males is a Virilis Mumgo. Virilis Mumgo, Guardian of Females, is Lavu Mata. Oh no, she's children. Lavu Mata is. Children, then we've got Kula Sterna, then we've got, um, what's his face, Kruplu Zarno, what a name, Zarno, and then we've got Vito Sutil, fuck. Sutil Vito? There we go. Okay, we got there in the end. Now this one's just tricky more than anything. I think we'll just need to like speak to that. So just look at the pictures, they all make sense. I have to practice our history tales. 
Wish I knew how to read so I could order them by their names. But you can just look at the pictures. Okay, so we've got... Brute banishes ancestors. Dweller. Lemurian banishes ancestors. So Lemurian banishes ancestors dweller. Um I don't know where brute factors in here. It seems to be that Lemurian brute banishes ancestors. Well, that makes sense. Dweller discovers. What, were the, what was the kids fucking saying? The exodus came first, then finding of a cursed last tragedy dispersed. What, Dweller? That doesn't make sense, the picture being in there. Lemurian Brute Banishes Ancestors. Brute Lemurian? Ah, sorry. Brute Banishes Lemurian Ancestors. So, Sentinel emerges from tower? So that would be... Sentinel emerges from tower. Brute, Brute banishes Lemurian ancestors. Sentinel emerges from tower. Right? Sentinel being the evil thing. Dweller emerges from tower? Sentinel discovers community protection. Right, okay. Fuck, we got there. Whenever the something endangers the something, the something goes and there's a fucking hell. So... Tomorrow your incantation expires, Vito. So, Vito, Suto Vito.
So we've got Sutil Vital went to the tower and said the incantation because according to local tradition, whenever the brute sentinel endangers the community, the fuck. And now whenever the dweller endangers the community, the sentinel goes and banishes the dweller to the tower until next time. After the incantation was spoken, the golden idol was activated to reduce lifespan and somebody died but I don't quite know who so we've got I don't know how long it is Agana Brengad Bulbazor Is it Sutil Vito? Sutil Vito was the designated sentinel for the Monkey Paw Island community. When the time came, in accordance with local tradition, he took up his armour and set forth to the tower. There he met his demise when the golden idol was used on him to reduce his lifespan. Because of course. Right, I think we will conclude it for this video, folks. The la the next video will probably be our last one. We'll do the two um, cases back to back, and then we will have completed the full game, and we can go on to the sequel. Hell yeah. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.